engine master this two you have to um flip the cover on flip back so pull this and then you should be able to hear the engine coming on now warning amad fire warning amad fire warning engine fire left warning Low altitude. Right. Low altitude. We start to have it close. Right, it's get, it gets quieter. And then the final stage is to push this and it will lock the canopy. Shift 2 for north. Right. Then we do uh, 4, 2, one and hold and wait. Y'all break. Y'all break. Okay, we are here in the um, F fifteen Strike Eagle, and uh, today we will attempt to do a full startup without mouse. So I have this flight suit and gloves on because uh, when I was searching in Google for something else Google started showing a lot of Halloween costume um, suggestions thinking that I'm looking for one so anyway I thought it might be fun to have this as a Halloween party costume um, anyway we've got the looks of the cockpit and the flight suit so let's try to do this um, for people wondering how to do mixed reality refer to my other videos and also another one on how to do this cockpit outline so let's uh, do this I have this knee board from my real um, flight lessons for the Cessna in the past so here we do have hotels and radio signals maps you know Tekken all the useful stuff then we don't have to look at um, F10 and stuff like that so here we have the checklist I'll refer to this mission statement later for the alignment we are doing a full GC alignment If you guys uh, watched one, one of my previous videos before, I have shown this slide where you have two types, um, GC Align and Store. So in your mission worksheet, it will state whether it's GC or not. So um, GC or SH, right? So in your mission editor, when you, you want to click here to come here and with the check, it means it's GC align. Without, then it's not. So like here in this mission, so default is this. You click on your aircraft, you'll get this, right? And then you click here and you do this. If you want full GC alignment, then you select this. If you don't want, then just click this and you'll skip. So that's how you decide on um, complexity whether you want some, something simple or a fast alignment okay or a detailed alignment so um let's give it a shot mic switch so turn on the mic here and then throttle make sure they are off okay first of all make sure that they are not um, bound together this here right so they are separate and also they are not sitting like this you have to pull and go all the way so this is fully off okay make sure that they are off fuel um, conformal tank stop transfer to stop transfer you push this up Okay, inlet ram auto. So these two were for the left and the right ramp. 
when they reach um like 50 rpm it will drop so you want it to auto drop so turn on this tool some of the switches you have to pull to turn then fuel quantity tank one oxygen on H2 on um, engine generator this two on um, you can tell the gloves are a bit too big for me so okay the emergency generator is on auto then engine control left and right on engine master this two you have to um, flip the cover on it back then jet fuel starter switch is this one it's talking about the toggle not the lever so turn this on first then the AC ECS switch which is this one to auto right now bleed valve switch turn to both okay now we do the starter fuel lever pull so pull this and then you should be able to hear the engine coming on now so then the gfs ready light is on okay and we'll start with the amet uh, fire test there will be three the subsequent ones are either skip or i will uh, speed up okay because it's very long and repetitive the first one will not have the lights subsequent ones the lights will come on so warning amad fire warning amad fire okay that's it now we do the finger lift so i don't have finger lift built in to this throttle um like the wing wing so I'm using the these two uh, push momentary push toggle as the finger lift left and right. This is engine one two, right? So we do with engine two first, and we um, do a finger lift on the right throttle. Just push and let go. So now we can hear that the engine on the right ram is ramping up. And here the EMD engine um, display will come on. I think it's engine module display. I don't know. EMD something. In the Hornet, it's called IC. So that is on, and um, we wait till it stabilizes at 26. All right, and then we do this AMAT test again this time the lights will come on and it'll be a long process the last one will do the burn through um, the second one will not i think so anyway this is a long one so let's see warning amad fire warning amad fire warning engine fire left warning engine fire left engine fire right warning engine fire right okay um so that's done now we push this to idle to do it we have to lift it up push it up a bit and then pull it back okay gently until it stops so that's in idle and this will start going up <coughs> and stabilize at 68 um before that once it reaches uh, 50 the ramp will start to to drop okay Let's see. low altitude right low altitude okay so the right engine ramp has gone down um, this is what right generator caution light uh, I don't see it here okay it's off so the pc2 
should stabilize at 3000 to 3400 which is this one here PC2 this one is still zero until we turn on the the left engine so the right engine is slightly above 3000 so that's fine um, I'm going to skip the AMAT uh, test so the third one now we do the verify the JFS light is on and now we do the left finger lift uh, which is this one here push and let go right so now it starts same thing we wait till it stabilizes at 26 Okay, now left throttle push to idle. Same thing. Um, we lift up and then pull it back. Okay. Then this one will start going up to 68. When it crosses 50, again like the right side, the ramp on the left will drop. The generator light will, this left gen will go. Now it's at 40. We'll see that this one go off later 45 47 48 okay going down yep okay left ramp gone down and the light went off right then the pc1 now is up there at same as pc2 good ejection seat um okay i haven't i haven't created the um I haven't built the ejection seat, so let's keep that. Canopy. So canopy, as you can see, is all the way open. So this is a four-stage thing. We start to have it close. Now it's get, it gets quieter. And then the final stage is to push this and it will lock the canopy. Okay, close and lock now the mpd's hard radios whatever we can turn on so the radio um, this one already shows on we push this to turn on the two and then um these are the preset channels so like brightness okay the hard brightness i'm gonna turn that on first and um it should be at nav then we want to turn on the MPDs. Okay, the contrast a bit better. Then do this. Turn on here. Okay, now we can read external and internal light. So Internal lights, we are not going to fast with it now, it's daytime. External lights, we want to do this like formation, maybe three. Uh, vertical tail, we don't have to do that. Anti collision on, and then position light also somewhere in the middle. Three. Okay, external light. Now, warning light test, which is here. Alright, so the lights come on. Um, this one normally comes on light test, but now it, it goes the opposite. I don't know why. But when you are you are in in the RAM um, ready takeoff mode, this this will behave as normal. So all the lights come on. <clears throat> as you see in my previous video, I have changed the text. I've improved this three, and improved this two, improved this. So now they all look better. Especially this one, they are more readable now. Okay. So light test including all these all these lights. So light test is done and um, let's see IFF we're gonna skip um, JD's turn to like norm and then INS we want to align GC so turn to GC and this one on the hut later you will start um, doing stuff and we need to do alignment so 
this is at GC at the moment and we want to do um, okay we want to enter the start entering the stuff so here you see recommended 42 degrees 10.949 it is we don't have 10.949 is a bit off so to do this you press shift 2 for north right then we do uh, 4 2 1 0 9 4 9 okay press this one here okay bam okay updated that now longitude longitude um you have to add a zero i don't remember why but everybody says that so to do east um shift and then six for east okay and then add a zero four two zero four two two nine seven nine zero seven nine zero and then press this one here bam okay this is done you can see the gc there counting down okay so we are done here um then enter coordinates um nav flare this nav flare is fine um adjust whatever we want this turn to um standby up then terrain radar turn to standby okay then radar up on and then this last one radar standby okay now the conformal tank switch we can come back to normal then to normal and the uh, three CAS toggles on 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 then take off trim we have to press until we hear the sound and the light comes on so press and hold and wait yo break yo break yo break okay so that's working now the attitude indicator stuff this one it doesn't work when you are in cold start after everything is set up um if you are like doing the at the ram to for takeoff and this starts to work i don't know why this is not working in cold start but my switch is definitely working so either a bug or i'm missing some steps so here we see that the attitude indicator works when we are ready on the ramp compared to cold start. So anyway, uh, let's jump to altimeter. Altimeter, normally you want to do 2992, which it was at 2992, right? Okay, so the fuel indicator, now we switch to conformal tank then the bingo set as required uh, normally you want to do like 3000 that's enough and the MPDs um, you want to program them oh GC is already okay but anyway to program this is to set it such that later when you turn the castle switch you know it will just toggle between the, the three modes so like here you want to do this you press this thing here and then let's say we want air to air at the ground and um, 
where is armament? Okay, this one. All right, so we press again. Cool, this is set. Now on this side, what we want is um, teapot first. Okay, and then we want tools, and then we want the jet side. Okay, done. Now this one we want. By the way, I my my stick was up here, and some of you guys commented on it. Thanks for pointing out to me. Now I've lowered it, and I've also tilted it a bit because if it's too low, my hand will be like this straining. So I tilt it a bit. I think like the F16, the same thing. You tilt it a bit to feel more comfortable. So anyway, um, program. And then the default is, is ADI for I think safety. So but we normally want the map. So we want TSD first. And then terrain following. And then ADI. Alright. So that's done. So um, now we can jump to the back. I did not build the back cockpit. I only added the some of the weasel stuff to the left and the right. So we have two here. So in the highlighted one, okay, E W uh, R W R I C S. Okay, we want it combat, and then the parts we can leave it at standby, and then I C S. To auto then um, TGP flare um, we want standby and then skip this laser arm safe can leave it there now on the right side tools ICS on RWR on uh, EWS on and you can skip the tone and then the command mode this one we switch to manual manually control the chat flare stuff okay so the back seat is done so now we come back to the front we check okay gc is on we can switch this to nav and then that will go away so now we turn to nav and we see on the hut gc okay it's gone all right so um that's it for this video the next one we'll do um taxi and takeoff so this is what we need, the most important thing during the GC alignment. If you want a fast one, that's a fast align, but this is the full thing, GC align, and we have tested all the critical stuff, canopy, the lights, <coughs> the, um, the engine stuff, right? So um, this is how do you do uh, full cold start um, without mouse mm, pretty pretty fun a lot of steps but you feel like you're in control almost like in a real jet right the visual is like you're in a real jet because of the mixed reality you can see and touch stuff and you can see like we are at an air base so um, thank you guys for watching Till next time, I will see you again.